We're going to continue to follow developing news of a deadly shooting out of Southwest Houston. Three people are dead, including a child and a 10 year old girl is wounded. Fox 26's Natasha Geigel is live with the latest and Natasha, we understand there are no suspects at this point. What have you found out? Well, good morning, Melissa, and we actually got an opportunity to speak with the family of the victims here. As you can imagine, they are absolutely heartbroken and shocked over the fact that three of their family members are now deceased. So this uh, crime happened in these apartments right behind me where we are at the Toro Place Apartments at 21 uh, at 12. 101 Pondron Road, including a six uh, year old girl that was killed here. Now, there was a um, so according to Houston police, they received a call around 10 30 last night of a shooting at the apartment complex that a child had been shot in the arm. Now, according to the family, the child is 10 year old Lyric Carhe. She had FaceTimed her grandmother to show her the scene and let her know that she, her mother, father, and six year old sister Harmony Carhe had been shot. According to the family, Lyric played dead after being shot and when the man left the apartment she got up locked the door and made the FaceTime call when police arrived they found that three family members were dead inside of the living room area the family identified them as Gregory Carhe in his 30s the father 28 year old Danavia the mother and six year old Harmony Lyric was transported to the hospital where she is receiving treatment and we're told she's in stable condition. No motive is known at this time, but according to HPD, a home invasion was unlikely since there were no signs of forced entry. No witnesses have come forward. We asked the family if Lyric had any information on the shooter. Able to describe the person who did this or see that person? She's so traumatized. She's probably no, traumatized, she, um, I'm sure. I don't know if she, they... She said he had a mask on just to his nose, but... Uh, I'm quite sure she sees some pictures here, you know, once she calmed down, it'll be, she'll probably be able to identify them. But she's this? very brave. She know, she know everything. She told them step by step on what happened. And we're told that Lyric's one-year-old brother was also present during the time that the shooting happened, but that the one-year-old was spared. He is currently with a family member. Also, there was an eight-year-old brother who happened to be with an uncle during the time of the shooting. So now there are no suspects that have been uh, captured in this case. So if there's anything that you have, any information or video surveillance that could help police in this, you're encouraged to contact Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Natasha Vaga reporting, Fox 26 News.